Hey guys, I'm Alex from Voltaic Night Sites, and in this video I'm going to be giving a little bit more in-depth information about our product, taking it apart completely, putting in a new battery, showing you how to reassemble it properly, and then showing you how to install it on a rifle. And if you want a little bit more context, I put out a video last week where I introduced the product, showed you a side-by-side -side next to tritium, and compared the brightness between the two of them. So that might be a good place to start if you are brand new to this product, but if you're looking for some more information on how you would actually install it, how you would change out a battery, uh, this is a good place to look. So here you see the case that we actually shipped the product in. We've got it padded with foam, it's a rigid plastic case, and when you pop it out you'll find that the site post already has a battery installed. We've already got it all the way tightened, and so when you receive it in the mail, it's pretty much ready to install in your rifle. You don't have to mess with it. But, you know, two years down the road, when the battery finally runs out of juice, you're going to want to change it, and here's how you would do it. So from here, we're going to take about a quarter turn off the lock plate just to relieve some tension, and you can already see that the LED is turning off because it's lost contact with the battery. So I keep unscrewing, and now we're free. So now let's say maybe you took this apart and you move some stuff. The O-ring's not where it used to be. I'm going to show you how to set the O-ring properly. So from what you can see here, and I'll get some more light on it, you can see that we have an O-ring down on the threaded battery tube and the O-ring gets kind of crushed between this lock plate and the underside of the top post with the LED module in it. So that O-ring is just to give us a little bit more water resistance and also to help the whole assembly stay together. So as I put it back together, step one is obviously putting in a new battery. I would get the lock plate farther down the tube, just well out of your way. Now the O-ring, I would start by getting that out of the way too, and the easiest way to manipulate this O-ring is to just stick one of your fingernails in the threads and turn the entire tube, and you'll find that the O-ring moves along with your fingernail, and you can get it around pretty easily. So I've got the lock plate out of the way, I've got the O-ring out of the way, now we can put on the top post with the LED module in it. And I'm just going to tighten it pretty much as tightly as I can. You'll find that the LED makes contact with the battery after a certain point, and you can see it lighting up. And usually the check that I'll do just to make sure that it's good is I'll give it a good few flicks, make sure that it can take a beating, make sure that it can handle recoil and that the light's not gonna flicker and this one's looking good. Uh, it might be hard to see in this lighting, so I'm gonna turn off the lamp, and you can see that the LED is lit up. If I flick it, it doesn't flicker. So we're in good shape. I think we've got a good installation here, and now we can go ahead and tighten the O-ring and the lock plate. And by the way, just as an aside, um, I know I pulled it out of the packaging but this is not a brand new site. This one's been installed on a rifle before. You can see that's why the finish is a little marred up. But anyway, getting the light back on, we are going to walk the O-ring farther up the tube. I'm gonna start by getting the lock plate farther out of the way. But now if I insert my thumbnail and turn the post around, you can see the O-ring is starting to walk up and once it is touching the underside of the top post, we have it where we want it. There we go. That O-ring's pretty much right where I want it to be. You can't always get it perfect because the threads, you know, run at an angle up the side here, but that's pretty good. So now that the O-ring's where we want it, and now that the LED is making good contact with the battery, we can walk our lock plate up, and this one still needs about another quarter turn, but once we have it tightened all the way, then we are ready to install. All right, 
so we've got our rifle ready. The factory site post has already been removed and we're now ready to install the voltaic post. The tools that you'll want for this job are um, you're going to need something small to push down on the front detent pin. Uh, here I just have an Allen wrench and you're going to need a four-pronged sight adjustment tool. So the one you're looking at here you know is a AR15, A1 or A2 style front sight post and you can pick these up online for ten dollars or less. Um, ironically this particular one uh, came with the Trigicon sight post that I used in our video last week for the side-by-side -side comparison but this week I'll be using the sight tool to do our installation. So the Allen wrench is going to be used to push down the spring loaded detent pin. Um, if you're not familiar with it, this pin is what actually locks the front sight post in place. Um, basically it engages with the detents on the front post to keep it from being able to rotate freely. So that's how you make your adjustments and then lock them in. So one caveat is that for a normal AR style sight post, you don't need an Allen wrench or something similar to push down on the detent pin. That's actually what the prongs of the front sight adjustment tool do for you. Um, they push down on the pin and allow the front post to rotate freely. The difference is that on a voltaic post, you can see that on the top uh, we have four detents, which is all well and good. That won't give you any trouble. But if you flip it over and look at the bottom, our lock plate actually has eight detents. And that was to make sure that you could really get fine adjustment on tightening down on that O-ring. You know, um, you can get the detents lined up and really get that thing tight. But the trade-off is that these extra four detents that we have on the bottom can actually engage with this pin in a way that you don't want it to. And so using something like an Allen wrench to push down on the detent pin is going to make your life a lot easier. So let's get started. I'm going to begin hand threading the voltaic post. Um, I'm doing this left-handed. It's a little awkward. I'm a right-handed person, but we are started and we're not cross-threading. So now that we've got a start, we can take our set adjustment tool and make this whole process go a lot more quickly. Uh, here you can you can turn it pretty fast right up until you start bottoming out on that detent pin and then that's when the allen wrench or other tool is going to come into play. So I haven't bottomed out quite yet but there it is. Now I'm starting to hear a click and it's opposing my movement. So at this point I can't go any farther unless I get that spring-loaded detent pin out of my way. So taking the Allen wrench, I'm going to press down and I'm going to take the adjustment tool engaged and I'm going to keep going. And I'm sort of working blind here, you know, I'm going to get it down to what looks like a reasonable height and then we won't really be able to get it truly zeroed in until we take it to the range and put some rounds through it, see whether we're shooting high or low. But for the time being, this will at least get us installed and in the ballpark. So if I get a good look at it, I can see we've still got a ways to go before we're really engaging the detent pin fully, so we're going to give it a few more turns here. This can be a difficult process, but you only have to do it once or twice. So where we are right now, you can see that we're crooked once we took the set adjustment tool away. So even if I were happy with the height, I'd have to fix that part. So we're going to keep going. And if you've got good lighting, you can actually see down through your hollow sight adjustment tool and get a better idea of whether you're lined up. So right here, 
we are starting to get in the ballpark. Uh, if I look a little more closely, I'm going to make a tiny little nudge, but I can see that it's engaging with the detent pin. We are lit up, although you can't really see it in this lighting. Yeah, there we go. Still can't really see from this angle, but I'll show you another angle in a second. And there we have it. So there you have it. We are installed. We are beautifully lit up. We're at a reasonable height. And as an aside, if you have an A2 style iron sight set on your AR, then this might be as far as you need to take it. You can actually zero your elevation just using your rear sight. And you might not even have to mess with your front sight anymore. If you have A1 style iron sights, then you know when you go to the range, be sure to bring your sight adjustment tool, bring the Allen wrench, because you may have to play with your elevation on the front. But either way, this process should capture the rough procedure that you need in order to get your site installed and make it work the way that you want. So if you have any more questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me directly. Uh, you can find me at sales at voltaicsites.com. You can use the contact form on our website. Find us on Facebook, leave a comment here on YouTube. I'm happy to engage with anyone and answer all of your questions. And in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to talking to you in the future. Take care.